Hi, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, I'm Minx. And I'm Chrism. And today, we are playing At Dead of Night. This was voted for by our amazing Nomkin patrons over on our Patreon. If you want to get involved in the voting and nomination process, go over there right now by hitting the link in the description and pledging $5 or more. Oh my god. Alright, let's begin. Damage board. This is pretty spooky. I have played a little bit of this before, but as you can see, Baby is only seven percent. So we're gonna we're gonna watch we're gonna watch the tutorial first because they're not included in actually maybe it is included in the main game. I'm gonna click start new game and see, and we can always come back. Okay. The story of Jimmy Hall. Find out Jimmy's secrets by asking spirits about the things you find, then making connections to prompt them to appear. Jimmy will do his best to stop you finding out the truth. Well, that's rude. And we have standard or extreme. So on standard, when you get got by Jimmy, you lose a percentage of your items. On extreme, you lose everything. Okay, well, we obviously We're gonna play standard. standard. Yes. Okay, so this is the device you found. Select this to switch it on. You need to find a compass. Are we, are we actually in the game already? You can detect spirits' voices if you're near enough to them. I think this is the tutorial. If you haven't seen it, go to the main menu and watch the tutorial video. For, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Fine. We will do that. That's a bit strange, but let's watch the full tutorial so everyone gets an idea of how it works. Okay. The situation. This is Jimmy Hall, the proprietor, and a dangerous psychopath. He has dark plans for Maya's friends. Maya has escaped. Jimmy knows he has to stop her. The chase. Jimmy hides whenever he can. Around corners. In the shadows. Oh shit, he's on the right there. Waiting for you to arrive. Or sneaking up behind you. He can't hide on the stairs. Or on the ground floor. Or in the basement. Strategy. If Jimmy sees you, move away out of his line of sight. You can hide in any unlocked room. If Jimmy comes in, hide in a wardrobe. Or in the bathroom. Use the spyglass in guest rooms to see if Jimmy is outside. Call out to attract him. To control where he goes. Find room keys in drawers. Lock Jimmy out of rooms. Or lock him in. If you can escape first. Quickly check rooms by looking through keyholes. The dead. Jimmy has a murderous past. His victims never left. They still haunt the hotel. Use the spirit receiver to talk to them. Ask them about the things you've seen and uncover their story. Ask about important connections, and it will make them appear. Then follow the flickering lights, and listen for strange sounds. Use a compass to guide you. When you're near, keep looking around. Or keep still and watch ahead. 
Maya's talent. Maya can see into the other world. Move to a dimly lit place. Then use the mirror. You will see the location of important items. The locations of spirits. Connections between items and spirits. Sometimes Jimmy catches, sometimes Jimmy steals things if he catches you. Look for your spirit receiver in the first floor storeroom near the stairs. Find compasses and keys in guest rooms. Read the ghost receiver instructions for more advice on ghost hunting. Okay, what do you think of that? It's a lot. Yeah. Let's watch the prologue, I guess, of the introduction of the game. It's not a good place for a hotel, this. No, it's not particularly numb. Just go to bed, Hannah. Well, listen, make sure you're... Ah, Maya, I presume. Don't be alarmed. Uh, your friends booked you in. Uh, let me just check. Ah, yes. Uh, room 101. It's all been paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything. You are very nice friends. Very nice. And there's uh, quite a few of you I see as well. Nice to see so many fresh, young faces <laughs> for a change. Uh, you're here for the music festival in town, I presume? Yeah, we were supposed to be camping there tonight, but... <laughs> There's hardly weather for that, is there? <laughs> uh, will you be staying for breakfast? I don't think so. We'll probably just get going. That's fine. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Maya, would you be interested in uh, the entertainment tonight? Tonight? Uh, starts around midnight, usually. It's... It's me doing it, actually. Comedy. I do this comedy character called uh, Hugo Punch. He's sort of this comedic sociopath, says things that you're not supposed to say, and that sort of thing. It's quite popular with students. I don't think so. We're all just going to bed, I think. Are you sure I can't twist your arm on this? It's okay, I'd rather just go to bed. Sorry. Fine, fine, fine. Which way are the rooms? Um, just take the lift. Uh, you're on the first floor. Okay, thanks. Oh, and, and then drop your key off in the box, uh, if you will, Maya, please, tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. Best show in town and no takers. <sighs> Who needs... Proper entertainment when you've got YouTube and my face or whatever. Stupid, uncultured. You don't have like room to They're naughty. Don't start this again. I don't want to hear it, okay? Not tonight! Naughty 
children of bad eggs. They need to be taught a lesson. Shut up! Just shut up! You always do this. They're paying customers. They haven't done anything to you. Just leave them alone. Bad eggs need cracking. Whack them hard and crack their shell. Kick them down the stairs to hell. You know what you need to do, Jimmy. Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it. <laughs> I mean, or you could just leave. I think it's probably a better option. But no, you're gonna stay here and then get caught a bunch of times. Yeah, repeatedly, it seems. <laughs> okay, we already saw this in the tutorial. We gotta to talk to the ghosts and figure out the dark past of the hotel. Not entirely sure why we're doing this, I must admit, like you said, it seems uh, probably leaving and contacting the authorities would be a good idea. Mm. Alright, now we can start a new game. Me. Mm. Oh my god, guys, it's a Patreon shout-out, and you know that, that, what that means, those of you been listening to these, it's time I call Jimmy Hatcher a list of wonderful things. Some of these you may have heard before, but I've got a big list of, of great words. Oh my god, we're gonna go with lustrous, which means luminous and brilliant. Uh, persistent, plucky, proficient, ravishing. I like that word, but um, apparently that means you're enchanting or extremely attractive, Jimmy. I hope, I hope, uh, I hope that's not. Uh, sleek, sparkling, thoughtful, sparkling, vibrant, vivacious. Zestful. Wow, these are good ones, Jimmy. These are good ones. Um, <laughs> educated, efficient, flexible. Yeah, I guess that's positive most of the time. Oh, I guess you could be flexible. Okay, I was thinking about like, like, you know, like doing contortion, but anyway. Uh, personable, productive, qualified, relaxed, resourceful, responsible, technological. Jimmy, I'm sure you are all those wonderful things, and if you don't want to be those things, you're not them. But... Regardless, thank you so much for supporting on Patreon. You are super nom. You know how else is super nom, of course? Our producer, Alice, who is engaging, engrossing, captivating, fantastic, gripping, heartwarming, hilarious, imaginative, moving, and powerful! And spellbinding. Thank you so much, Alice. Check out Alice's links on screen right now. If you want to be super nom like Jimmy and like Alice, make sure you hit the Patreon link in the description. The time of recording, I think we need about nine more subs to hit our goal for the month. I know you nomkins can do it. Pledge. Get involved. You can nominate games like this and make us play them. Oh my god, this was a voted for and nominated for playthrough. Enjoy the rest of it, guys, and it gets pretty tense. I hope you guys like. This is the device you found, so let this to switch it on.
Okay, it picks up after the opening cutscene. It can detect spirit's voices if you're near enough to them. If you haven't seen it, go to the menu and watch the tutorial. Baby, we did! Oh my god! Oh Unprecedented. My god. Okay. Now the question is, are you going to be able to stomach this? <laughs> I just realised that the movement's kind of jerky, yeah, isn't it? no, this is not great. I gotta, I gotta admit. So, I will say something at least. If you can't do it, it's fine, but just let me know. This hotel? Mm -hmm. Jimmy can't do anything to you until you trigger your first encounter with a ghost. So, the nice people who are on the forum for this recommend looting every single room in the hotel of all the important items in the game, especially ones that are permanently added to your inventory before doing anything else. Okay. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through each floor and steal everything. So fun. Although I think the storerooms don't have anything in them. I think this is where Jimmy puts your stuff when you get grabbed. Mm. Do you know what Punch and Judy is, baby? No. So there's a puppet show in the UK called Punch and Judy. And he is dressed like Mr. Punch from that thing, mm -hmm. who is a domestic abuser. Oh, that's, that's fun. It's a children's puppet show with domestic abuse, by the way. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not kidding here by the way or, or bullshitting you. Um that that is that is literally uh what it is. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. I'm guessing it's not a modern thing. No, it's an old it's an old thing. There's also a crocodile. Because um Well, why wouldn't there be a crocodile? Exactly. That's that my thoughts exactly, Nomkin. Why wouldn't there be a crocodile in a game? Not game. A puppet show. So these rooms, you can't actually do anything in them until you find a flashlight, I don't think. It's too dark ahead, but you can sit here and use the scrying mirror. Mm -hmm. Because it's dark for the right place. We've got to search everything. So we found these are the clues we're looking for. These are permanent. Mm -hmm. When we find them, they're things we can talk to ghosts about. So they're like prompts we can ask the ghosts about. So the more we find before Jimmy's active, the easier job we'll have later on. So we found some bottles of whiskey and other spirits. Mm. So we just found two talking points here really quickly. Which is pretty non. But we have a lot of hotel to cover, unfortunately, before we can do really anything else. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that door's open. Because I don't think I opened it. Are you sure Jimmy doesn't get active until you talk to Ghosty? I'm pretty sure. We, should, we would hear him talking because he talks and calls for you. He's always like, Maya, where are you, Maya? And things like that. Well, that's just rude. I mean, it is pretty rude, actually. Especially, it's weird, right? Because Jimmy is clearly a serial killer, right? As 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 is pointed out, a dangerous psychopath, right? Mm -hmm. But he just hits us over the head. I mean, if you get hit over the head enough times, you die. <laughs> I mean, I suppose so. But it seems like a slow burn plan for a killer, you know, like. Not to say that I, if I was a serial killer, no, I'm kidding. Not that I'm am, obviously. But let's say I was, okay? Let's say I was. I wouldn't be like, oh, just gonna hit her over the head a few times. Or, pop, 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 pop. I wouldn't say that. Especially the pop, 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 pop. That would be weird. No, no, no. I think that's pretty normal. What, to say pop, 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 pop at the end of a sentence? Yeah. Do you do it? I mean, sometimes. I mean, that's true. Oh, we found the key to the stairs. That's quite handy as well. And a storeroom key. I didn't mean to do that. We have keys coming out of every orifice, baby. Good. Is it really good? Oh, I we mean, unlock this. considering we need keys to play this game, I'd say it's good in this specific instance. Do you know the real horror of all this, baby? What? Worse than anything you've seen so far. What? Jimmy's brother is called Bimmy. Oh my god. 
that's the true horse. And possibly, you know what their nickname might have been? What? Big Bum Bimmy. Oh my god. How are we gonna tell? We can't, is the answer to that question, but still. The thing is, like, my biggest problem is, right, I can't remember, right, what rooms we've been in and what rooms we haven't. Because they all look the same and the map is really fucking confusing. Well, probably haven't been in here. That's handy. So that points out where nearby guys are. We haven't got any at the moment to talk to, though. So don't go near the stairs. To trigger Jimmy, we need to go to the basement. And he won't show up until then. At least, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe he will show up before then. I don't know. You do have a habit of uh, talking like you're an authority on something when you don't know anything about it. Well, listen, listen. In this instance, other people, other nomkins. They probably don't know what Nomkins are, because they probably don't know who we are, but other Nomkins, okay, they have told me specifically that this is how it works. However, however, Nomkin, there is a chance that that's a load of bollocks. Did I get the key for this door just now? No, you got 22. Um, oh, it's one of our friends. You know what's going to be really a problem, right? If we're running away and we hide in one of these rooms where you can't run into the room because it's dark. Have I been here? I can't remember. It all looks the same. Oh no, we found a sword. Oh my god. That's, uh... Well, I would say convenient, but it doesn't seem like we're going to be using the sword like a smart kin. It is ornamental, which is, means it's probably crap. Listen, if something's heavy enough, it doesn't matter whether it's pointy. That's fair. We, we did a full lap, but I want to double check again, because I think there's some ways we didn't go. If that makes sense. Oh my god. I... The thing that's going to kill me the most in this, and from my brief experience playing this game, is me turning the wrong way and getting wrecked. This oh, this is our room. room. Baby, it's our room. This is where we were sleeping. Mm -hmm. There's our tinks. But we didn't... Okay, I don't want to jump to conclusions, right? But I would say that he probably doesn't have a maid. You gonna look at the other drawers? Trying to. Some childish, violent drawings. Okay then. That's pretty horrible, actually. We didn't check the cupboard in our room. I guess not. Well, we did an exit it in a hurry, I suppose. Yeah, but we were asleep, so we'd been in there a while. Maybe we were just really sleepy. We were like, oh my god. Just a big sleepkin. Sleepkin, that is our name. Well, it's Maya, actually, but sleepkin would be our name. Oh, we got a mirror now. Okay. So find somewhere dark and use this to get a clue on where to go. Ah, oh, okay, so when he robs you, it also shows you where they are. Mm-hmm. can't remember if that's the one I checked or not, so I'll just check both in case. See? Found a chef's... Oh, <laughs> baby. We found a chef's at. We are going to be the best chef in the world. I don't think that's how it works. Baby, you put the hat on. You, you basically are that job. Don't you know that? So you can't do anything in these rooms? I think you can restore the power later or find a flashlight. But not at this point in time, no. Because otherwise you'd be able to get all the items really early on. And, you know, the items we're finding for the ghost, you don't lose those. So, um... They are, already, they are with you always, the whole time. So... I guess they do that to stop you finding everything before Jimmy's active. Which I guess makes sense. 
That's rude. I want to find everything. I mean, I'm going to find as much as possible, I'm going to be honest with you. We can't search the top two floors as well as this one, because they do have power outages all over them, but there are some places we can go which we probably should go. Okay. Mm. So another thing, I thought that the bottom floor was always safe. That's not true. <laughs> well, it said the ground floor. He can't hide there. He can't hide, but he can just run at you. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah, uh, I, I found that out the hard way. I think we I think we've done a full lap now, but I'm just going to check in here. I think this was the first one we checked, though. Can't tell. Maybe. Oh my god. Yes, we found 106 key. I remember now. So we, we okay. We're done with this floor now. One floor down, Nomkin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jimmy didn't even see it coming. I don't know why there's balloons everywhere here, but I'm guessing it's not a happy reason. Alright, we're on the second floor now. So we can't go here. It's too dark. We might have had to go anywhere on this floor, I don't know. Alright, the second floor is off limits at the moment. But we can try the third. Okay. I'm a little concerned because there is an item that I think we need. Well, there's light here, so... Yeah, but not a lot. But enough to go in a room or two. Well, that's, that's just bum. I guess they really don't want you doing the other ghosts early on. So there's four ghosts we have to find out the histories of. 3.9. Oh, that's true. Otherwise, the game would never end, right? Mm-hmm. This is the game that never ends. We can go in both these. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. We have a lot of storeroom keys. Oh my god. A lot of storeroom keys now. I found a handwritten note which reads goodbye. Dear mum, I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Okay then. How dare you be empty. So rude. A ring in its box. Alright, I think we found everything we can at the moment. So time to start ghost hunting. And time to get Jimmy and Bimmy on our butts. You ready? Maybe. Maybe not. You'll never know. I mean, that's true. I do find this a bit strange how this works. I'll show you what I mean. It's the sound of a girl crying, baby. Oh my god. So, we can't actually speak to her yet, we need to do this. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, no! Let's go back down to the basement because the little girl was there. And we're gonna have a little chat, Bubba. Oh my god. We're gonna say hello. Are you a ghost? Are you a ghost? And she's gonna go. No. <laughs> and that's the end of the game. And we just leave. Oh my god, how handy. 
crisis, crisis averted, really, is what I would say to that. Alright, so... Trying to make contact with a spirit. Start conversations by clicking here. If there's no reply, there are no spirits around. A loud noise means there's a spirit in a high energy state near. Is anyone there? Hello? I don't think anyone's there, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Try and confirm their identity. Ask their name. What's your name? Well, you were 10. Alright, so we're now in contact with Amy, a 10-year-old girl. Well, she used to be, yeah, like you said. <laughs> You'll see the reply when selecting an item. Showing everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we only have one item that's relevant to her in our huge inventory at the moment, and that's the child's purse. Who did the child's purse belong to? Okay. And we have to ask about the, her a bit more as I well. I saw a girl in the basement crying. That's her! Who was she? It was me. A boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement. Then he started stealing things from me. Okay. So, we can do this thing here. He drew those violent pictures. I didn't mean to do that, but still. So, who wrote the note that says goodbye? I didn't mean to ask all these, but we are. I don't know. Okay, so there's a way of combining things, right? Mm -hmm. So it says here, see these two here? We chose the basement conversation and that added that. And now we can combine these two together mm -hmm. to a different outcome. Match two replies you think connect to work out the spirit story. This is one of my biggest beefs with this game, by the way. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the time, it makes zero sense what combines. It's just like, let's just try everything and eventually something will work. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, match two replies. Okay. Pair sighting replies with item replies for faster progress. Ask if these two are linked. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected with what you said about the purse? And we have a bear here. And we get a brief clue on where to go. You see the ground floor mm. on the elevator. Mm. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, is uh, end this conversation and go to the ground floor. If I can figure out how to end the conversation. <laughs> Turn off device. There we go. Alright, so we can now go... Oh god. Go to the ground floor and hopefully look for the ghost. The tutorial said to find the ghost you look for flashing lights. Jimmy is now active, by the way. So we could die imminently <laughs> in oh, seconds at times. No. <laughs> From my experience with this game. You'll be just minding your own business and you'll be whomped. Sounds from the amusement arcade. Well, that's a clue on where to go, I guess. I don't actually know where that is, but... Oh. Okay. Jimmy stealing from Amy. Alright, I guess we should try and talk in here. Do we have to do Is this every Amy? time? Yes. I saw you shouting to Jimmy to give your toy back. Why did he take it? He's a klepto, I said. Alright, this is where things get really strange, okay? Mm -hmm. So the next clue we need to work do, we have a walkthrough for this, obviously, guys, is the turpentine and lighter. Why would you ask a child about this from the things we found? Hey, is this lighter yours? Do you smoke heavily? <laughs> Not in the UK, they don't. What were they for? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I didn't know what they were until Jimmy showed me. Okay, so now we need to combine two things, alright? So Jimmy stealing from Amy goes there, and the turpentine and lighter goes there, and we combine them both. 
What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? I think it's a bear. It's a bear, yeah. Although... By the way, just a, just a warning to everyone. This game is actually really graphic at times, and you'll see what I mean in a bit. But just a warning. As it is real actors, obviously it's not real, but it is pretty messed up what we're going to see. Mm. We now need to go to the first floor. We saw the clue. We actually need to go to room 109. So that's where we're headed. Oh my god, baby. Oh my god. Jimmy will be chasing us up here on this floor. We have about a minute from when we get to a floor till Jimmy shows up on the floor. Mm. Uh, so we have time to get to like a room that we need to get to or something like that. But there's no, you can't like save and reload to avoid him. Like once you're got, you're got. Mm. And we just start again. Which is going to get very annoying because the time limit you have between Jimmy showing up gets less the more the game goes on. Oh, it goes no. down to like 10 seconds. That's bull. I need to find room 109, that was the problem. But he'll show up in a minute. Uh, I went the wrong way. That's bad. For our survival. So I died uh, three times getting to this room last time. Okay. Well, don't die this time. Simple. Problem solved, baby. I went the wrong way again, I think. Room 109 is going to be over this way. Oh, no. It's 106. 107. There's the ghost light, you see? Oh, God. Jimmy isn't... We'll know when Jimmy's around because he'll make a noise. Anyone here? Do you have to use the ghost thingy? No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> got me a baby bit. <laughs> <laughs> As you heard by the ah! Is it Amy? <laughs> it, 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 it got me the first time. I knew it was coming this time that I didn't know last time. I was like, is it broken? Why? So that's a clue for a new ghost that we don't do yet, by the way. Okay? Mm -hmm. For now, we need to go to room 102. Problem is, we got company. I don't hear him at the moment. But he could just be waiting for us. Mm. There's often an audio cue if he is waiting for you. Mm. Okay, that was him, I think. Oh, God. Jimmy's on this floor looking for you. Stay away from him. Oh, God. Oh, this is scary. All right, he's not here yet. So we're meant to stay here and watch this suit of armor for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to keep an ear out for him because he'd be behind us. No, it's fine. Like I'm he just... can't attack you if you see him. We need to go in here. I could lock the door, but he'll know we're in here if I lock it, if that makes sense. Mm. And he'll start breaking it down. Okay. 
All right. Is it Amy? I saw you outside a room. Something frightened you. What was it? I was trying to find a doctor, but Jimmy threatened me and made me stay. We have to ask her about the sword. Who does the sword belong to? Jimmy had it. I didn't like it. Okay. Combine the two. When I don't know if Jimmy can attack us when this is going on. Jimmy threatened you to stay. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? Yes, he got it down from the wall. It looked really sharp. He made me promise not to tell anyone. And he said he could make my hands stop hurting. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. That's whiskey. They used it as an anti uh you know what I mean. Alright, we need to go to room 112 now. But this is going to start getting a bit hairy. What we can do, by the way, to get rid of Jimmy, mm. is go to the elevator, take it to another floor, wait for him to get to that floor, and then go down again. However, it's risky because there's a chance we go past each other. Mm. He's here. <laughs> He's going to come back because that's a dead end to the left. Mm. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I'm going to give him a minute to hopefully just fuck off further into the floor. But there's a good chance we'll get got on this floor, okay? Oh, God. I think he heard you. There'll be a little warning. Okay. But he can come up behind you if there's multiple routes. Mm. God, I would never be able to play this game. I'm just checking behind us. <laughs> Room 112 is this way. Oh God, I hate this so much! <laughs> the ghost is this way. In this room. I don't think he's with us. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. The good, the good news is, by the way, every time we get these, this is progress and this is permanent. Okay, that's good. But so, it, it still makes it's very me tense, uncomfortable. Right? Oh, right. no. Is it Amy? We're nearly done with Amy's story, by the way. Good. <laughs> I saw you drinking something. You didn't seem to like it. What was it? The boy told me it was medicine. It tasted horrible. Okay. So that's the whiskey we found, right? Yes. I'm sure we found whiskey at some point. There. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I mean, you just did. So we combine that with that. When you said the medicine tasted horrible, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Maybe. She told me to keep drinking it. It was horrible. But then I started to feel strange. Okay, we need to go to the third floor now. Let's I'm... hope we don't get caught. Jimmy can be heard nearby, he just said. I'm gonna just wait here a minute. We've gotta to get to the elevator now. Mm. Remember, if we get to the third floor, it gives us it should give us time for like a minute before Jimmy shows up, because we're still on the first ghost. But mm. that time will reduce every time we go between floors. I hate that. 
Every, no, every time we sorry, uh, do a new ghost, there's four in total mm. that we have to figure out. I can hear him talking. I don't want to leave the room until I know that he's going a certain direction. Does that make sense? Mm. This is a, I think this is a dead end, but I don't know. I'm really scared, babe, that if I step out the door... He's going to be right there. He's going to grab me. There he is! <laughs> right, he went towards the lifts, but hopefully we could follow him round if we give him a minute. God, this is so bum. <laughs> I'm gonna have. A, I'm gonna risk it. You're gonna risk it for a biscuit. Oh. He went this way. I don't see him. This is the junction. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. He's there. He knows we're here. Don't know what's in here. Oh fuck, it's a dead end. Don't like this, don't like this, don't like this, don't like this, don't like this. He was follow he was chasing us there for a minute, like sprinting. <laughs> oh thank fuck. Okay, this is my chance. Okay? Mm-hmm. I hate this. I hate this so much. It's a dead end. Fuck. What's down here? What's down here? This is a dead end! Baby, it's a dead end! Baby, I don't know! That's why I said I could never play this game. I just don't remember my way around places. He, he said he sees me. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Floor three, floor three. <laughs> we might actually need to go all the way down again because this is the issue right we need to unlock the stairs that are up here he's going to be on us in a second by the way we need to find the stair door no 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 game god I will say the controls are pretty terrible mm -hmm. like they're real oh hi Yeah, I don't have the key, so I have to go down and then go all the way up. Oh, no. He could be in the lift, by the way. Oh, no. I think he might be. Oh, no, he isn't. Okay. I'm going to try this. I don't know if I have... I might have to go to the first floor and then up the stairs there, because I have the key to one of them, but I don't know which one. Oh, no. I have the key to the... I need to get in the staircase, basically, and talk to her at the top of the stairs. Okay. Jimmy can, he can't hide on the stairs, but he can be on the stairs. Same for down here. Mm. So down here, he's just going to hoof it at you, which is somehow a lot worse, in my opinion, I think. I wish he just couldn't use the stairs. It's weird, because the tutorial kind of leads you to believe that's the case. Yeah. It kind of made the... I can hear him. It made the stairs seem safe, but... Is it Amy? Yeah. I'm Amy. We're done, nearly. I saw you at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What were you doing? I felt really light. I really thought I could jump down to the bottom. Oh, she got drunk. Wait, you're just realizing that right now. Well, I thought he cut her hand off or some shit, I'm gonna be honest with you. We have to go to the bottom of the stairs now, where she landed, without getting caught. He's gonna get us on the way, surely, right? Yeah. I don't see any way out of this. 
I feel like I hear him all the time, but it's the floor squeaking, I think. Oh god, this is so nauseating. <laughs> she went all the way down to the basement, which is where we found her body, right? Well, I mean... Ah, uh, yeah. Hey there. Amy at the bottom of the stairs. Is it Amy? Yeah, it's Amy. I saw you lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to you? That's Amy's route complete. Yee. Four more to go. At least we don't have to do this again if we do get got. Yes, we well, don't have to when do it again. we get got. <laughs> we we are gonna get got at some point, especially as he gets faster. Oh, I really wanted that to be open. Because <laughs> 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 I don't think he can go in the basement. All right, second floor now. So scary. It is really intimidating, actually. I see why people pick this. It's very got a sense of dread, right? Like mm. it's, you don't know where he is. What? What? Someone's knocking on the door, and it's not Jimmy. I don't know where it wants us to go. I guess follow the c the curtain. There's the flashing lights. Oh my god, what is the name of that? Uh, compass, there we go. 217. <laughs> Okay, so I think we actually needed to ask, watch something here, which could be us dying here. Oh no. Can you stop doing that, please, game? I want to leave the room for a second quickly. What it wants us to do is stand here. No, oh my god, game. The controls are something. we got to wait here for a minute. Do, do you think, um, is it able to use your arrow keys on your keyboard? Maybe? This is a bit weird though. This isn't triggering, even oh, though it's meant to. No. Not this again. We're in the right room, but. Oh, we're maybe. We're not it's seeing anything. It's flickering now. Yeah. The problem is it's really glitchy, this shit. Mm -hmm. Jimmy will be here any second. But what are we meant to be seeing? A man knocking on the door, right here. Oh, no. But it just isn't playing, and I don't know why. You can hear him doing it, so, like... Yeah, we're probably going to get got here. Maybe just go into the room? For safety, yeah, but we can't progress. I'll ask if anyone's here. Hello? Yeah, until we see him doing it, it doesn't count. We need to have a visual view of the ghost for it to be able to start communicating with us. Well, we'll be right back until we figure this out. Oh. Hi! Jimmy, I'm Dr. Bose. I'm just here to have a little chat, okay? Thank you, Jimmy. I won't be long. Alright, 
Let's go meet our new ghost before Jimmy kills us. Ye. <laughs> Luckily, that only took about five minutes to yeah, trigger. Not too bad. Is anyone there? What's oh, your name? we need their name, don't we? Yes. <laughs> Dr. Bush, I'm a clinical psychiatrist. You didn't do that good a job, I'm going to be honest with you. I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? It was me. I got a call from Ruth, Jimmy's mother. She wanted me to talk to Jimmy, find out what was bothering him. But Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind and the things he was imagining. Who's Harvey? We don't know yet. He's another ghost, though. Hmm. Okay. We but asked him about the violent drawings. <laughs> what were you about to say, Ben? Nothing. Tell me. I was going to say, why are you spoiling things? Oh. Who drew those violent Harvey's things? another ghost. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so now, as usual, we combine them. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? No. Yes. They suggested a turbulent personality, but I wasn't particularly concerned until I started to realise how far his imagination went. First floor. All right. He's here. Oh, God. Jimmy! Don't walk this way. I, so I don't know if he can walk into the dark. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if he can walk around. Oh, here he is. Don't, Fuck. don't, 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 don't. I'm going to give him a minute in case he comes back, because that's a dead end with darkness. Mm. And he might not be able to walk down it. If he can, and he just does a loop, that's okay. We can leave. Mm -hmm. But I'm concerned. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand the concern. I mean, he's not a nonkin. No. Very far from it. I would have liked to hear his stand-up routine, though. It probably is pretty good. Oh, fuck. He was chasing. I can't believe he chased us when we got away. Because mm -hmm. he was booking it after us at that, on that first floor for a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to go for it. Okay. Oh, this is scary. Could be our first bonk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, baby, you should have waited. It's actually, tell us funny, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the room we need to go to is the room the spirit box spawns in. <laughs> so it kind of is just progress, really, if you think about it. Hmm. I still would have liked to avoid it getting bonked. Being bonked is very rude. It is very rude. It's very painful, too. I mean, have you ever hit your head? No. It hurts a lot. Never. I don't even have a head. Oh, my God. Then what have I been kissing? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe pretzel? I mean, I have been kissing pretzel. We kiss pretzel a lot, actually. She has a very buffer face. It's very kissable. Look in the first floor store near the stairs for the device. Yeah, he just leaves you in this room. All right, we're on the first floor where we need to be anyway. Yes. Okay. Where the fuck is the way back to the main area? Don't bonk us again, sir. Here. Here. This is the storage room. <laughs> and he's just in there, I imagine. There's the ghost box. Alright, is there anything else we need to pick up again, or do we have to find everything? Um... Like, does it tell you? I can't remember how what we what, how we look. Okay, so he's, we kept all that. We we kept all our keys this first time, but after this time we'll lose keys and we'll have to double check rooms for them. Okay. Oh, no. Shut up, phone. <sighs> okay. Hi. Oh. I guess it's killing animals.
Oh, sorry. Is it Dr. Bose? I always hate we have to ask this obvious question. I saw you holding up a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Okay. Killing a rabbit? I guess so. We have to ask the chef's hat now. I think he's making a rabbit stew. Who did the chef's hat belong to? Jimmy found it and put it on. That doesn't mean it belonged to him. It means he killed the chef, maybe. I don't know actually by that, by the way. I have no idea. Like, I don't know the when story of any of these came people. Up with an idea to do something nice for you. Is that connected to what you said about the chef's hat? Okay. I'm scared to leave this room because I can't peek. Oh no. Ground floor? Ground floor. We need to go to the kitchen. I was, I was expecting him to be outside the elevator for a minute, I'm going to be honest. I think there is an animation where he can be. Okay. I have no idea where the kitchen is. I know it's on this floor. I hope this is safe. Sounds of crockery being moved around. Oh, that's the kitchen. That's the ghost. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> I'm so glad you're a ghost and not Jimmy. I'll take it. Oh, this is a shit kitchen. Hi! This is a great <laughs> idea, Jimmy. I reckon you'll make a great cook one day. Oh, why don't you bring it up to me when you're done? I'll, I'll wait for you, okay? I wouldn't eat anything this man made. I'm gonna be honest with you. Is it Dr. Bose? Did that count? Dr. Bose didn't have an answer. Oh, do you think maybe I have to be outside? Oh god, I hate this. Is it Dr. Bose? Okay, we were slightly a bit far away. I saw you outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy was making me a sandwich. He brought it up to my room as I asked. I didn't suspect anything was wrong at first. Oh great! What do we can? What do we need to ask about? We might not have the item we need here. Oh, we do. It's this. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? It was mine. I kept it in case I needed it as evidence. Oh God! I don't like standing out in the corridor like fully exposed like this. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he can't get you in. I hope so. Wrong. Does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? It was my first encounter with Jimmy's sense of humour. This doesn't look good, does it? Mm -mm. Alright, back up to the first floor it is. Everything's fine, baby, right? No. Nothing's fine. Everything is horrible. Listen, Jimmy is probably a nonkin. Deep down, he just needs a bit of re re <laughs> That's That's what we call watching lots of Krinks videos until you become num. Oh re -nonkinin. It's like brainwashing, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're upfront about it. <laughs> I'm, sc I'm genuinely terrified to move in this game. 
Sound of a running tap. I thought that was Jimmy running. Uh, I guess we're going in here. Oh god, be careful. <laughs> oh, ew, ew, ew. Jimmy! I guess he got poisoned? Or maybe some razor blades or something in it? Is it Dr. Bose? We gotta be quick here, Doctor Bowser. Right, he could be here any second. Somebody spitting out blood. What happened? Jimmy put broken glass in my sandwich. Oh. I nearly choked on it. I kept the cloth and glass so I could go to the police, but I realized I'd underestimated Jimmy's illness. I simply had to step up his treatment urgently. Hmm. Mm. Diazepam. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? Could be here any second. When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have something to do with what you said about the diazepam? It wasn't the ideal medication, but it was all I had. Jimmy needed treating immediately. He was dangerous. All right, second floor, quickly. <laughs> we need room 210. Don't know where that is. <laughs> Absolutely no fucking idea where that is. Oh my god. <laughs> We got, we got like a minute, maybe a bit less. What room's this? 206, we're probably going the right way. That's, that's probably a dead end, right? With the wrong rooms, it's probably this way. Oh, these rooms are all uh, too dark before, they've opened up now. We might need to start searching them later on. Well, we will. Hang on, where's 210? What was these? Oh god, they must be down here with 207. <laughs> Hi! This won't hurt, Jimmy. All you have to do is to stand still and stop moving around. Listen, if it's that much of a fucking issue, I wouldn't goddamn wait. Just stick it in him. Is it Dr. Bose? Yes. I saw you with a needle talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy refused to let me administer the drug. I had to chase him around the hotel. Then he told Rose I tried to force him to take it, that I'd used violence. It was ridiculous. I don't know who Rose is either. Rose is his mother. He said that earlier. Oh, Susie. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where did the wooden paddle come from? I don't know, but Jimmy found it. Getting out of this floor, by the way, is going to be interesting. When you said Jimmy refused to let you administer his medicine, is that connected to what you said about the wooden paddle? Jimmy said I used the paddle to beat him. I would never use violence against a patient. It was ridiculous. But Rose believed him. Do you think he got struck off as being a doctor? Maybe. We should start searching these rooms, by the way. Yeah. Jimmy Hall's comedy act. Well then. 
Some old rusty keys. That's actually a clue for like a puzzle rather than a key, you know. So we're gonna start searching these rooms now. Oh god. Because we need the items from in here for later. Mm. <laughs> but that's gonna start obviously having its element of risk. <laughs> I'm very scared what, about what this. What items on the second floor didn't we get? Uh, none of the second floor was accessible except two rooms, because the lights were off. Oh, right. I thought it was just the third floor. No. Nah. The third floor was only made up of eight rooms anyway, but the second floor was just as big as the first. Oh, no. We just got to listen out for Jimmy, and he won't come in a room unless he knows we're in there. Or we get out directly in front of him like I did like a complete idiot last time. Yeah. We gotta listen for the audio clues, like the text clues. Mm -hmm. The reason I put the subtitles on that are like, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word, descriptive, because it tells you the distance he is from you in those, mm. which is quite useful. Oh, that's very, that's very good. Because it'll say you can hear him close by or somewhere on the floor mm. or, or far away. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thanks for nothing, room. But I guess, uh, well, no, because the items move about, don't they? He's going to be close. They don't move around per playthrough. They'll only move around per, uh, per re you know, when you restart, they'll be in different places. Oh. And he doesn't put them back in the rooms. He tends to, he puts them in, um, the storerooms. Mm. That are on each floor. I don't hear him at all at the moment, which is worrying me a great deal, by the way. Oh, he's here now. He's here now. Fuck, babe, I don't like this at all. You can lock him in rooms and take him out of action for like 10 minutes. But you have to hide in the room, call out to him, hide in the cupboard, and then book it when he comes in. God, that seems like a faff. That seems really risky. And what if you press the wrong button? Mm. Which is very easy to do. I mean, it might be our only option later on. When he gets fast, When he mean? gets super fast. Yeah. We have to get to the ground floor, by the way. But I'm going through this floor because I was like... <laughs> As we're here, we should probably grab as many items as we can, especially the permanent ones. Mm -hmm. Because they make the ghost conversations just a lot easier. Mm. I don't know if we should go for it or not. I don't know, it's so spooky. I'm gonna have to risk it, okay? Oh, we're gonna get bonked. Why did I do that? I need to search these two rooms. Okay, he wasn't there. He's on this floor, but he wasn't there. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me something. Yes! <laughs> Anything permanent is, a, is what I care about right now. I want to check that door across. Mm -hmm. Jimmy? Jim, Jim, Jimmy, Jim, 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 Jimmer. Do you think he should legally change his name to Jimson? Did, did you recognize the reference? I don't know. No, you didn't. Tell me what it is. It's Treasure Island. Oh, yeah, Muppet Treasure Island. Yeah. Jim, Jimmy, Jim, Jim. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jimmy, Jim, Jim. Yeah. And Gonzo was like, I'm not Jim 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 Jim. He's Jim Jim Jimmy Jim Jim. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't like the mirror, by the way. Don't like it. I'm surprised he hasn't walked past here. He might do soon. He could be camping by the elevator. So rude. Okay, well. I'm gonna give another minute. Um. 
We found three new items at least. Mm -hmm. So that so far that's been worth it, right? Like that was worth the exploration. Mm. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we're getting quite a theme here of things that can kill people pretty easily. Bethy. Mm. That's like, what, the fourth weapon we just found? Yeah. Oh, it's dead end locked. Oh, if he comes down here, we're dead. Oh, no. Jimmy? Chan? He's oh, there. There he is. He saw. He saw me. Okay, he's right behind us. Oh God! I don't like it. 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 <laughs> he surely saw us. I don't know. He was waiting by the elevator. I told you he was. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> He didn't come in. I'm gonna give him a minute though. We mm -hmm. haven't searched in here, so I might as well do that while I'm here in a minute, but <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is incredibly tense. You see his little peat, his little face, sorry, poking out. Yeah, it was a bit spooky. He's dressed up as Mr. Punch from Punch and Judy, by the way. With like the bald head wig and shit. Mm. I don't know if that's a wig. That just might be his head. I think it's a wig. Oh, another fucking murder weapon! You know, you just have to stash those all over the fucking hotel for some reason. You know what's going to be the problem, right? There's a good chance we'll miss one item somewhere, and we won't remember which room, and we'll have to go looking for it for like 20 minutes. Yeah, that's probably going to happen. Because it's going to be random, because these appear in all, you know, they're, they're never in the same place. Do I go for it? He went past to the right. I don't know. I'm going to have to go for it. I think he's going to be waiting. Did he just say I see you? I don't know if he said I can hear you or I could see you, but either way, I don't like it. Okay. I don't like this. Oh my god. I don't like this. <laughs> You know where they picked it now, as well, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Alright. We're on the ground floor. Okay. That's good. That's good. The lights are flashing around here, so it must be in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. I would never use force like that on a patient, Mrs. Hall. It goes against everything I believe in. You have to understand, he's making it all up. I did quite like the stories. Mm. Oh, fuck. Is it Dr. Bose? Amy didn't have an answer. Yes, it's me. I saw you trying to explain what happened with Jimmy. You seem desperate. I was worried that Rose would believe Jimmy. It was a bare-faced lie. But I managed to convince Rose Jimmy was making it up. Not NHS. It is? Nuss is actually how you say it. Okay, we have to go back to another room on the second floor and then back down here again without getting caught now. God. I'm not optimistic, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> we room 216, which I think was in that area we were in before.
Okay. Just gonna go around. No, 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 no. I might be going the wrong way completely here. Oh, I think I did. What rooms are these? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, thank fuck. No, I did. Did I? It must. Is it this back one here? Baby, I can't goddamn tell. I'm sorry. It's this one. It's this one. Okay. easily, Jimmy. I think we should start again, don't you? Why don't you do what I ask you to do this time? That would be a good start, wouldn't it? You know the weird thing? I thought he had a beard in the first time we saw him, and now he doesn't have a beard. Maybe he shaved? I mean, he might have shaved. Is it or I might have just... <laughs> he could have just, like, been like... I saw you sitting on a bed talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? I thought when he realized he'd been caught lying, he'd start to engage with me and do what I asked. Instead, he just made up another lie. Only this one was much worse. The worst. I have some horrifying news, by the way. Oh, no. We don't have the item we need. No! And it's somewhere... On any of the floors. Well, probably not the first floor, because we ser we could clear that out, unless we were really dumb and missed it. So somewhere on this floor, there is a scrapbook, okay? Or the third floor. Oh, God. So that's what we're looking for. Oh, God! He's right there! I'm so scared right now. He might have locked the door. But does the room door closed mean he entered? Or he's, he he entered the room. He's in the room with us right now. Oh god. We could book it and try and lock the door. I'm not sure you can get around him. I think you're supposed to call from a room, leave the room, he goes into the room, and you log it um, on the outside. The tutorial that I watched online for this, I, I watched the video, he goes in the bathroom, then you book it out from the closet. Oh. But I, can't, I haven't heard the bathroom door open. So, uh, do you think we should just uh, sit here for a bit? Or... I mean, honestly, I think we should just stay here for the rest of our lives. He's walking nearby, it said. Do you hear that? Or oh, see that on the prompt. <laughs> okay, he's not in the room. I'm clicking. Three, two, one. I think he's still in the room. I think he gave up when he didn't see it. I mean, he's an idiot, but... Oh my god. That was really tense. Okay, I guess he's not in here. He sounds far away. Watch, he's gonna be right there. We need to search all these rooms in oh this, on this floor while I he's here. I hate this! This is so bum. Ah! Oh, bullshit! <laughs> there was no prompt noise that he was hiding. You're supposed to wait, I think, a second to see if he pokes his head out, baby. Uh, well. <laughs> we got got. What did he take? I, was, I don't even know what room we're in at the moment. What floor? I don't even know what floor we're on. Oh, we're on floor three. Oh, he doesn't even leave you in the same place? No, he leaves you on different floors. Floor three is fully opened up now, by the way. 
it looks like. There's a different ghost here that's not Dr. Bose, and I don't want to see... If you sequence break, it often breaks the game, apparently. Mm. So you have to be careful about that. I really wish that was a scrapbook. <laughs> May as well just start searching, though, right? Well, you just said you worried about... Oh, I guess he took a compass. He took he's, he's, he took he took everything except uh, except the key items this time. I think, unfortunately for us. Well, I thought in extreme. Oh no, we got the mirror still. I think. Yeah, I thought. Well, well, we can't do it now because we were too busy avoiding him. But I think next time maybe we should take a second to see exactly what he took. Yeah. I actually don't know how to view your inventory. I can only view it when we're on the spirit box, as far as I'm aware. No, you don't, what, don't you just click that little thingy on the side. This. No, not that. The, the... The book? Yeah, the book. Oh, yeah. He took, he took almost everything we had. He's yeah. on this floor, by the way, already. I saw oh, him. Oh god. He's already fucking here? Yeah. I think that's gonna get obnoxious. I'm gonna go in the room with the, with the ghost rolls, I'm sorry, I don't mean to sequence break, but... It's locked! You made it oh, we're getting into the ghost. I'm telling you, he's been lying about everything, probably lying about the other stuff as well. Don't be ridiculous, he wouldn't lie about something like that. You sure about that? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. Oh, that's right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harvey. You've just got it in for him. It's the truth. So that's Rose and Harvey. Okay, well, don't talk to the spirit. We, well, we can't because we haven't got the box anyway. Okay, well, hopefully he doesn't sequence break then. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go in here and hide. He's coming. He's trying the door. Oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> The good news is the third floor is really small. Like I said, it's only like eight rooms. Mm -hmm. So we, I feel like we've checked everywhere now on this floor. Because we already went to the far other side, I think. Yes! Yay! Yes! <gasps> Watch, we get bonked again! It doesn't matter, we found the scrapbook! I know, but it's just going to be our luck! Probably, yeah. Okay. Alright. How many times have we bonked? Twice, right? Yeah. We are nearly done with Dr. Bose's story. Yee. Okay. We need to go and get the scrying thing from the first floor. The, uh, not the scrying thing. The, the spirit box The spirit thing. box from the storeroom on the first floor. Then go to the second floor. Go to room 216. Finish the conversation there. And then we're pretty much done. Yee. Okay. Time to risk it. For a nomkin shaped biscuit. We ready? Yee. Yeah. If you see him, tell me. I mean, I'm probably not going to be able to. You're probably going to hear the, the music sting before I see him. He's really close. Yee. Yeah. But I think we probably got away with it. I don't like it. Okay, it's good. It's okay. I just had a thought. If I go to the first floor, right, will he still be on the second floor <laughs> when I go back up? I don't know. We're asking the wrong lady. Do you hear crying? Yeah. That's the other ghost, I think, the one we saw a little bit of. All right. We got that. I'm just going to go back up to floor two and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. What is that audio we're hearing? I think hearing? it's a radio, it sounds like to me. Rather than the ghost box, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright, 216 is to the left all the way to the end. Because we've been there before. Mm. 
good news is, there isn't a lot more he can do to us at the moment, even if he gets us here. I don't see him. He's on this floor. Okay, we made it to the room. Is someone there? Hello? Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. What do we need to ask him about? They don't know. Scrapbook. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? And now we need him sitting on the bed as well. This. You said Jimmy made up another lie about you. A much worse lie. Does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Jimmy accused me of the worst crime possible. Oh shit. He took it from a newspaper story he'd read. He was making it all up. Oh, and the police showed up, Luke. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> we're nearly done. All we got to do is get off this floor now, and we're in safe zones now, I think, until... Oh, fuck! Bye-bye! No. Ah! <laughs> Bye-bye, no! He was right there! He said this is my house. And he's right, it is! Oh my god, it's like he's a puppy here. But he's not because he's not numb. Oh my god. That is 100% true. Alright. We need to make it off this floor. And get to the ground floor. He's close, because we can hear him, right? It's not just, like, mu incoherent mumbling bollocks. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, like, a corridor away. I don't think I've ever felt... Don't come in here. All right, he's going back. I'm going to give him a minute, though. Because mm -hmm. we need... To he could... There's so many different ways he could go that could fuck us here. If we get bonked, it's all right. All we need to do is go and get the spirit box, and then we can finish the chapter really easy. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go for it, okay? Fucking asshole! I hate him. <laughs> we know this room's safe, and that should give him a chance to fuck off for a minute. Hey, yo! He always hides around the fucking elevator like a dick, like a big poo poo. So poopy. Jimmy. I don't even hear him, which is, that's the worry. Is he still hiding? I genuinely do not know. We're gonna have to go. Right? Worst case, we just get the spirit box again. No big deal. Mm. Stop looking through the spy hole! That is entirely my fault, but still. <laughs> I don't see him. Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. Okay. Woo! We're nearly done. 
We docked to both. <laughs> then only two guys left, buddy. Oh my god. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I've got a feeling I know what happens, but I don't know yet. Is it Dr. Bose? I saw you upset and heard the police banging on the door. What was going on? Rose reported me. I knew they'd strike me off. I had no career, no future. I decided to take control once and for all. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? I tied them together. It was an experiment. When you said you decided to take control once and for all, does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? I experimented with the washing line, but it was too thick. I found some rope instead. I still had my keys to the hotel, so I crept in one night while I was off bail. Okay. Basement for the final scene. Guys, Jimmy's horrible. I wonder what age is meant to be at this point. I would say a teenager, probably. I'd right? say a teen. I'm not sure where I'm meant to be going right now. Somewhere down here. There we go. Nothing to see here, everyone. Dr. Bose? Uh, no, he's too far away. I guess we need to go up to where he died. Is it Dr. Stupid Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. What are you saying, though? You really like to continue the dialogue when I'm about to speak. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. <laughs> what are you saying? Um, I, I don't remember now. It was two seconds! I know, but I get flustered. Don't get flustered, you're beautiful. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Because you're beautiful! And I love you. Just play the rest of the thing. Play the tape. I saw you tying a rope around your neck. You killed yourself. Why? I'd had enough. There was no going back. My life was over anyway. Dr. Voice's story complete. Just two more to go. Yeah. It's going pretty well, I think, actually, really. You ready for me to continue, Numpkin? Yes. Okay. We, you know that ghost, we, we briefly saw the man saying that he lied. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go and investigate that ghost now. Which was back up at room 307. 
the dead end floor with only eight rooms <laughs> with very little place to hide. But hopefully, uh, wait, I mean, we didn't sequence break, so I think we're good. I think you were right, by the way. If we'd used the spirit box, that would have been a problem. But we didn't, because we're Nomkins and you're smart kin. Mm. You are very smart kin, you know that, right? Alright, which way is room 307? I have no idea. Not here is the answer to that question. That's, that's 308 and 309. And they're only the two rooms that way. Why is the third floor so small? It's just a little small kin. I don't want it to be though, because there's no place to hide kin. Well, sometimes you can't get what you want, kin. But kin. <laughs> Alright, this is the room we saw him knocking on. Is anyone there? What's your name? Harvey. I run the place. Oh, so he owns the hotel? I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. We know where he'd heard it before because we have scrapbook I saw again. A scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? It came straight out of it. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had got it from. It was the same. Down to every detail. So still on this floor. Getting away. We have to go to the other side of the floor now without getting got. I almost called out to Jimmy there. Did you see that? No, oh, but... I hovered. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Is he on the floor yet? I don't know. I don't know if he is, babe. Someone's banging on the door and it's not Jimmy. Careful. He's on, okay, he's on the floor now. Hi! Don't come in here. He's waiting. So a cutscene was meant to play there, but Jimmy interrupted us like a bumpkin. Oh no. So I might need to go in and out of the room a few times. Oh no, he didn't. Hi! Hi! Jimmy! God, that scared me. I know where you made it up, your little story about that psychiatrist. I know where you got it from. I knew I'd read it before, it's in your bloody scrapbook. Come out of here! Jimmy! The scary thing now is we need to use the spirit box in the corridor. <laughs> oh. No. I want to say here. Is it Harvey? Yeah. I saw you shout. We might get killed to me conversation here. Did he? The dangerous heater is the trap. We already found it, fortunately, so that makes our life a bit easier. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? It was giving electric shock. I kept it so the police could check it.
When you said Jimmy started setting traps for you, does that have anything to do with what you said about the dangerous heater? Jesus. Jimmy was always playing with electricity. Okay, well we did this bit. That's good. Good news, brother. Mm. Jimmy? Hello. We're risking it. I think we're okay. I can't hear him running. What if he was in the elevator one time? I would never use it again. I'd just use the stairs. I'd just be like, oh my god, brother, he's right there. Alright, room 113. I have no idea what that is, Bethy. Don't ask me. Oh, we can tell. Uh, This way. Probably not down there. Sound of electricity fizzing. Is it down here? It Jimmy's going to be on us really quick now, I think. He's not here, is it? Oh my god, I went the wrong way. Baby, I went the wrong way! Oh no! I'm really glad of one thing. Oh! Well, I can tell things are going well between them. Yeah. They're best of friends. Yeah, is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you suffering an electric shock. What happened? He knew that was my heater. He drove the casing straight to the mains. Almost killed me. He did it deliberately. But Rose wouldn't have it. I knew he needed to be taught a lesson. He damaged my property, so I decided to damage his. So, uh, we don't have the other item. Baba, no. We need baseball bats. Found it. It was in 205. Yeah, got it. Got it All right. Back. All right. Yeah. That should be everything. Hey, yo, we found the bats. We found the bats. So now we need to go back up to three without getting caught. Yee. Yeah. Might get lucky. I don't see him. Oh no, I went the wrong place. We're at floor one, what, well, floor one? Doesn't really matter that much, it's fine. Floor one is where we need to go. That's where we were trying to have a conversation with him before I got confused. Room 113. Ah, oh, thank fuck for that. Me. I think, I think that's all the key items. That didn't take us too long, did it, actually? Took us about ten minutes. Yeah, we were just. By the way, we know we, we obviously we're pointing at the obvious here, but uh, and I do that a lot, as Chris and points out. Yeah. But there is a lot of spooky talkings going on more and more as we play. Like yeah. the hotel seems to be getting more like supernaturally active. Is someone there? I can hear you. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. Alright, ask him about what the bats. What are all the crickets and baseball bats for? Okay. In case I need it. When you said you decided to damage his property, does that have something to do with what you said about the crickets and baseball bats? I kept those bats for self-defense. I was angry. I went to Jimmy's room. Alright. His room's on the second floor. I think it's 223. We've been there already, I think.
I'm guessing, I don't know this, right? But I'm assuming he is the child of one of the people who works at the hotel. I feel like that would make sense, right? His mom is Rosie. Yeah, but who, who is Rosie in relation to the hotel? I'm guessing Harvey's partner. I thought that was Jimmy. I thought that was Jimmy. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm guessing Harvey's not his dad. No. But I am thinking, like, based on how he was talking to Rose, they that, could be dating. that they could be dating. It makes sense. Like, I, can, I, can, I can believe it. 223, which is this way. Sounds of things being smashed. Oh, we're on the right track. By the sounds of things. That's just rude. Hmm. Did we miss something? Possible we missed the scene outside, right? It is. There we go. Yo. This probably wasn't the best way of dealing with the situation. Probably not. Now we can go in and talk to Harvey. So we have the next scene. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you with a bat coming out of a room. What had you done? I smashed up his television and games consoles and stuff. I was angry. But it didn't work. It just made him worse. He soon retaliated. Where was the crossbow from? It was from an armory display we used to have. Jimmy was fond of it. I don't know why the, the crossbow relates to this in any way. Jimmy soon retaliated. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the crossbow? Jimmy was fond of weapons like that. I hadn't seen him all night after I'd smashed his stuff. I should have guessed he'd been working on his next little trick. Okay. Alright, we need room 215 on this floor, and that means Jimmy is going to be beaming, beaming around. That's what he likes to do, by the way. Beaming. Beaming, yeah. 215. Which way is 215 gonna be? I have no idea, my love. Baby, I'm scared. Are you? I yeah! Mean, I mean, you should be, to be fair. It's a very spooky dooky situation we're in right now. Is one of these 215? No, it must be the other way. Jimmy? I hate this. I hate this. Alright, 215 is right at the back of this way. Oh god. I think he's down here as well. Oh god. He's right there. Oh god, where can we go? He's in. He's coming in. Fuck it, he's coming in! He's in the room. Oh, God.
All right, I think he's gone, Bubba. <laughs> Gonna risk it, okay? We need room 215. I think we're due another bonk soon. Yeah, I think we're gonna get bonked. He seems like he's in a very bonky mood. He was right by us then, we are so lucky. I'm risking it. Risking it for the biscuit. it. Oh god. I think it's down here. Oh, he's definitely down here. One of these. This one. Imagine if he was in here. Can he be in the rooms? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Fuck. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he got shot with the crossbow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it Harvey? I saw you being shot in the leg with an arrow. What happened? Jimmy had set it up to fire when I opened the door. I had to go into A and E, get stitches and tetanus shots. When I got back, I couldn't find him. Rose said he was hiding in the basement. I gave me an idea. This is going to end badly for him. Yeah. What are those rusty old keys for? Ah, we haven't been in there yet. When you said you thought Jimmy would like hiding in the basement, does that have something to do with those rusty keys? Well, if Jimmy wanted to hide down there, I thought he must like it. No, you didn't. But fuck Jimmy at this point. <laughs> but especially Jimmy. Going to the basement, if we can survive this being in this area anyway. Jimmy Bimmy, you here? I'm gonna call it now, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna head towards the lobby and he will do the same animation he's been doing nearly every time at the lobby. Yeah. I'm shitting myself right now. Yeah, this is not fun. I don't see him. He was right there! God damn it! Oh no! He was hiding around the fucking corner! What a dick. Alright, we need to go and get the, the, the spirit box back. We don't need to see the animation of waking up 20 times. Alright, what floor are we on? No, don't look through the fucking door! We're on two, which is really not where we want to be. Especially if he's active on the floor already. Where the fuck am I? I actually don't know where we are. Oh no, I do. I do know where we are. Okay, that's okay. We'll be fine now. Really? He was hiding around that right-hand corner. I didn't know he could do that. The fucker. <laughs> A third boot. One boot per ghost so far, though. Mm. Uh, we need to go get the spirit box first. And then we need to go to the basement. We should be able to get the spirit box and get to the basement without him doing anything. So that's good. He is faster, but it's about 30 seconds at the moment. I think for the final ghost, it'll be like 10 seconds. Mm. Which is going to be... Shit. Is the ghost box not there? I know it is. Come here. I need you. I can't talk to Harv otherwise. He doesn't like being called that, so don't tell him I said that. Okay, but... Okay, I won't write you out. You promise? Yeah. Is that because you wove me with a capital WOV? Yeah! Oh my god! Isn't it amazing? It is amazing. You're amazing. Alright. Some safe, some safe ghost chick things now. That's good. Okay? Mm. Some safe ghost dealings. I do love you so right. much. 
someone banging on a metal door. I don't really know what I'm looking for here. There you go. You can stay in there for the night, Jimmy. Ha. I'm ready to go. I don't think Jimmy's going to have taken this particularly well, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm, I know. Alright, we need to interview Harvey, but he's gone up a floor, so we need to go to the ground floor. And talk to him a bit more. Oh. But I'm glad it's the ground floor. I don't think he can come to the ground floor. We haven't seen him on it. That said, we're always really quick on the ground floor, aren't we? It's like in and out. So... Mm. I don't know, but I don't know if he can get us here. In the tutorial, he was on this floor, but... I don't know. Is it Harvey? Yes. I saw you locking Jimmy in the basement. What happened? I wanted to give Jimmy a dose of his own medicine. I thought he couldn't do any damage down there. I was wrong. He started a fire? a fire at the hotel? Yeah. They managed to contain it, but I lost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay. You said you were wrong to think Jimmy couldn't do any damage in the basement. Is that connected to what you said about the fire in the hotel? Nobody realised how far Jimmy would go to get attention. Interesting. Well, we're going down to the basement again now. We're nearly done with Hobby. Already, Bubby. So numb. It's actually numb because, my God. <laughs> I do think the cutscenes are well done, actually. Oh yeah. The acting is good. Like it's a, I would say it's above average for an FMV game. Mm. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw a fire in the basement. What happened to the hotel? We managed to contain it before it got out of hand. Photos and letters and everything were down there. It all went up in flames. Jimmy was out of control. I'd had enough of him. I wanted him gone. Who does the gun belong to? It was mine. It belonged to my father. I still had a few rounds with him. I feel like this is going really badly. In a bad direction. Mm. When you said you wanted Jimmy gone, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? No shit. I'd lost him. I was seeing red. I hated him. I'd lost control. Not a responsible person, Harvey, I feel, really, I will say. Like, the police should have been involved a long time ago. Mm. Alright, back up to the second floor. We've got two more clues to find. Unfortunately, the second floor is where we keep getting killed! <laughs> We have died on the second floor every time, I think, by the way. Well, died. Died is a strong word. Yeah, just get booped. Booped, booped on the snoop. With a serious concussion. Yeah. Okay, room 219 we need. Which is... This way. Is it that way? Probably. Are you sure it's that way? I mean, the sign said so, but if I was if I was Bimmy, Jimmy, sorry, right? I would. This is not two nine. Where the fuck is two nineteen? Where is two nineteen? What I, have you done with my room two nineteen? I do not know. Oh here? Oh here probably. Oh shit! Hello, don't shoot me, please. Get out of the hotel, Jimmy. Get out of my hotel. This is 
Why has he really got blood on him? Well, he went in here. Uh, I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Jimmy's on the floor already. Great. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you with a gun. Practicing with it. Practicing? What were you going to do? I don't know what I was going to do. Threaten him, get him out of the hotel. Problem was, I didn't realize he was going to be on too. Who does the dagger belong to? It's not a dagger. It's a letter opener. It's not supposed to be sharp. I'm going to say something, right? Mm -hmm. Why would if he was practicing, right? Why was he covered in blood? Did he smear ketchup on his shirt for the pre sort of like audition? I don't know. <laughs> when you said you didn't realize Jim would be armed too, does that have anything to do with what you said about the dagger? It wasn't even a dagger. But I never learned my lesson. Jimmy was always one step ahead of me. All right, we have the final clue now. We need to get to the ground floor. I like him. how Maya is incapable of retaining information. She's really bad. <laughs> she asked the most stupid shit as well. Alright, we've got to get back now without getting killed. Well, I mean, I say that. It doesn't really matter that much at this point in time. We have no keys. We've lost them all already. Jimmy? Jim Jim? Jimothy? I went the wrong way again? Fuck. Please don't be here. Okay. Ground floor. And we're done with Harvey once we see this last scene. I mean, you keep saying that. But I'm not sure I believe you, I'm gonna be honest. I guess further down? We haven't been here before, so... Jimmy! Over here, the lights seem to be. Jimmy! Okay, then. Why did he cut his own throat? I don't think he did. I think he, Jimmy was hiding behind him or something. Oh, I see. Is it Harvey? I saw you being stabbed backstage. What happened? What do you mean backstage? We're behind a like a karaoke stage. I didn't see it. Jimmy always won in the end. All right, that's Harvey's route done. What are the ghosties out there? There's one more. Alright, we got another ghost to find. Let's go. Oh. Oh dear. What is this? Oh. This looks really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. 
Fuck, he's here. He's really fast now. That was like 10 seconds. Oh, God. He's coming in. Puppy, I'm pooping. Don't poop the tweed. Go away. Go away. So, you know all those locked doors, by the way, on this floor? They're open now with some extra items. But there's a better time to get them than now. So we're going to go and do that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> there's only four locked rooms, fortunately, that the rooms that they can be in. So... Are you kidding me? He waited in the fucking toilet! What a douche! I mean, we didn't really lose anything, but what a douche! Okay, I wish I would stop looking through the fucking spyglass. It's so annoying. Alright, what floor are we on? Oh, we need to be here anyway. Oh, but we need the fucking... We don't have the spirit box. It's okay. Easily resolvable situation. He's still an arsehole, though. Yes. Uh, I think we're going to die a lot more on this chapter. Because he is... That was like... He's speedy, Gonzalez. He's speedy, and he's more aggressive, and he's going to be a pain, basically, from now on. One thing I, I've just, I'm a bit concerned about, right, is we need to get into the second floor storeroom. I think we might need to search around the rooms to find a key for it, because we lost the key. Oh, no. But I'm going to try the door first, and we'll see, okay? What a dickhead, though. He fucking waited in the toilet. I should have known he waited in the toilet. I got too overexcited. Yeah. Got a feeling she's going to enable him quite badly. Yeah. Oh, we have the key. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. Time to find out who this is, but we think we know who it is, right? Yeah. Is anyone there? Hello. What's your name? Rose. Rose, Rose you fucked up. I saw a lady explaining that the dagger was a letter opener. Who was she? It was me. I had to explain to the police that the dagger was just a letter opener and that Harvey had a loaded gun. Jimmy acted in self-defense. They understood. Did they? I mean, they did. I mean, but... yeah, otherwise, <laughs> I mean, he's running the fucking hotel now, so obviously nothing terrible has happened to him that bad, you know what I mean? Please don't be right out here. Oh, ground floor. Good. I like a good ground floor, baby. <laughs> I feel like the elevator's moving differently and it's freaking me out a bit. Like it's bumpier. Mm. Hmm. Hello? Jimmy. Jesus.
She's a good mum, baby. You know? Mm. Oh. Is it Rose? Who are you greeting at the entrance and reception? Jimmy. He was coming home. The police understood. They believed him. But it changed him. He started helping me. Helping run the hotel. And he found a way of bringing in more guests. That'll be the Hugo Punch poster Who's here. Who's Hugo Punch? Not a very when good you one. said Jimmy, yeah, found I can't way imagine it's good. In more guests. Is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? Yes, that was Jimmy's stage act. He was a comedian. He was good, really good. People started to come just to watch him. I can't believe this. What do you think? Was mommy psycho too? I guess we're gonna find out. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your entertainment for this evening, Mr. Hugo Punch! What's with the stripper music? I mean... It's like old-timey stripper music a bit, right? Yeah. I thought so, okay. Does he strip? Okay, wow. You t <laughs> <laughs> Boomer, go ahead and uh, just keep playing Excuse the game. me, did you call me Boomer? Yes, I did. Excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> Is it Rose? Fine. I saw you announcing Hugo Punch onto the stage. I was enjoying it. We were making money again. Everything seemed to be getting better until... Jimmy started behaving oddly. I heard him shouting, staring at himself. He seemed angry. How did those mirrors get broken? Right. Very descriptive. What you said about Jimmy staring at himself and becoming angry, is that connected to what you said about the broken mirrors? Breaking the mirrors was just a start. I asked him about it, but he didn't remember doing any of it. Then other strange things started happening. Great. Well, we're going up to the third floor to get killed again now. Excellent. Oh, I'm sure we won't. I think any time we have to go to one of the floors now, we're at significant risk of death. No. But if we can get the items, that's all that matters, baby, right? No, we'll be fine. <laughs> Nothing bad has ever happened in this hotel. Nothing? Nothing. I don't believe it, Bobby. I think... I've got to be honest with you, I think quite a few bum things have happened in this hotel. I would say... At least four. No, not four. I mean, there's four ghosts. No, there isn't. There's Im five. Impossible? It's either five or 3.9. It can't be four. Uh-huh. Otherwise, we would just have nothing but ghosts on the screen. <laughs> There'd just be a sea of them. Yeah! I don't know where I'm going right now, by the way. Not here. You gotta find this radio. I thought that was him. I nearly shat myself. <laughs> oh. Great! Oh, 
I feel like things have escalated a bit. Uh, we can search these rooms now, so we should. Oh no, we can't. I guess they haven't. They have to. We have to wait a bit longer till they unlock. They do unlock of their own accord. Mm. Is it Rose? Yes. I saw okay. you standing in a corridor full of mannequins. Who put them there? He had technically killed three people at this point. Yeah. Two indirectly, I'll give him that. Yeah. But still. But one very directly. <laughs> one literally slit their throat. Alright, we have to get past Jimmy again. We're going back down to the ground floor. It's a dead end. Why did I do that? Alright, he's not here yet, probably. Jim, Jimmy, Jimothy? He, you see his silhouette. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no! No, we're fucked. He's coming in. He's coming in! There's nowhere to go! We're so bonked! Remember, we're bonked! We're bonked. We're very bonked. We have to be bonked. I'm gonna try this, okay? You ready? I'm not returning. Okay, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. He's leaving. You took too long. <sighs> My heart popping up, King. <laughs> My heart. My baby heart. My boomer heart. <laughs> We need to get to the elevator, then get downstairs. Most of this takes place downstairs where I think we'll be safe. <laughs> I'm doing it! Tell me I'm doing it! He's coming behind me, by the way, fast. Oh, God. Go, 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 ground floor, 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 ground floor. Yes! <laughs> Get fucked. This is terrifying. It's great. <laughs> We're quite close to the end. I reckon we got like 20 minutes to go ish. A crowd booing loudly. Oh, I'm guessing his show did not go well. Yeah. It's just his comedy routine. It's his sense of humor. Oh, I'm sorry if you've been offended. Excuse me. Is it Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. I saw you in the ballroom. The audience was booing and you were apologizing. What was happening? It wasn't Jimmy on stage anymore, it was Hugo Punch, his comedy character. Hugo started insulting his audience every night. He seemed to be enjoying it. And one night after the show, a guest told Jimmy what she thought of him. Jimmy lost his temper. He did something stupid. What was the coil of wire used for? Okay. The healthiest of hobbies, really, is when it? you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something stupid, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Jimmy locked her in a room and tied her up. I didn't know what he was going to do. I found her and let her go. Jimmy said it was a joke. She didn't press charges, but she told the newspapers. Just as 
well, really. I mean, I'm surprised that the newspaper article didn't trigger a police investigation, because the police are allowed to investigate crimes that haven't been reported, you know what I mean? Mm. Even without the consent of people. Hmm. I think we need to do this. Is it Rose? We're too far away. Did she go in here? Well, maybe just try here. Yeah. Is it Rose? <sighs> okay, can I just say, before you click on sure. anything, I... I'm not saying anything against this actress, but the way that she asks is it this person is just fucking weird and wrong it is it feels it, like the inflection is not any way that you would ask hey is this this is this who you are we have a rapport with this ghost at it's, this point is it rose what what the hell kind of fucking way to ask is this you is that and it's really bothering me and i don't know why it's bothering me as much as it's, it's bothering me it's very odd it really is go ahead <laughs> i saw you upset people were knocking on the door asking questions who were they Who wrote the note that says goodbye? Jimmy wrote it. God, there's so many things in our inventory at this point. It'd be good if they vanished when after you, you solved the puzzle. you wanted to mm -hmm. leave everything behind and go, is that connected to the goodbye note? Seems to have a bad job of that. Yeah. Unless he's a ghosty. Oh, I guess he could be. That could be a twist. I don't know, but he could be. I really hope Jimmy can't be down here because we've got more to do on this floor. Yeah. So this bit apparently can glitch quite easily and we might have to reload the game here. Wait, no. There we go. Behold! I am the great Hugo! I stand alone above all others. Oh, oh, oh my. I am the light which illuminates the darkness. I alone am master. This is weird. Yeah. Oh. The fuck is this supposed to be? Well, we did it. And it unlocked our talking point we need, which is the great Hugo on stage. Okay, baby. We now have a lot of running around on the higher floors to do. A lot. So, time to get bonked a few times, maybe? Probably. Second floor first. The floor, the curse floor, as I like to call it, where we always get got. It's a very bonkable floor, I will say. Bumpable? No. Bonkable. 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 Bonk, bonk, bonk. Billy bonk. Billy, Billy, Billy bonk. We need two, two, three, which is all the way, at, of course, it's all the way at the end in a dead end. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, why would this game be nomptious? That's not what it's here for. 
I mean, you're not wrong. It's there to, he's here to be a bumpkin. Jimmy? <laughs> Guess he tried to off himself. Is it Rose? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I saw Jesus. someone on stage, a performer, announcing himself as the great Hugo. Hugo's his daddy? Oh no! <laughs> Who did the wedding ring belong to? It was mine. Someone made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Yeah, she married the great Hugo, huh? So that wasn't Jimmy, that was his dad on the stage we saw. When you said oh. things developed with Hugo, is that connected to the wedding ring? I saw you in a room upstairs. It looked like you found someone in the bathroom. What happened? I just don't want to talk about it at the moment. It's okay, we need to go and find something anyway. He's on this floor! Um, we need to go to floor three! No, I know. This is a dead end. I'm gonna gamble. Because it doesn't matter too much if we die. Because we haven't got any keys. We lost everything. He's right there! <laughs> <laughs> you know, what you should have done is you should have headed the bathroom and then locked him in the room. Oh yeah, you're right. Because we, mu we must have the room key for here, right? Because we opened it? I think so, yes. Actually, no. Do you need the deadbolt key in order to lock him out? Oh, I think you do need the deadbolt key. Yeah, not the room key. That's stupid. Go away. I'm not going to... Until he opens the door. Because he might be hiding in the bathroom, right? Mm-hmm. The room door closed. That's not the bathroom door. Unless he dummied us out. Alright, he's left. Okay? Mm -hmm. We need to follow into the lifts. Hello. Well, you know what? You can go away. Doesn't matter, you know where I am. You tell him, Bubby. You tell him. You shut your bumpkin. Alright, those locked rooms. Who's right there? Those lock these locked rooms on the third floor are now open, and we need to find a key item there. Just one, but a key item. Mm. There are two key items we don't have, and they were both in areas that were locked before, which now shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. We need to go to room 304. Five, which is this way. No. Bad game. We have to get past him again to get to the elevator straight after this once we find the item. Oh, God. Alright. He might... It could be in any of these rooms, but we're going to start with 305. Found it right away. <laughs> <laughs> Toy for what, baby? A bubble. A bubble. I don't think there's another item up here, so I think we're good. But now, we need to get back to the elevator again. Without being killed by Bimmy. I don't think he's on the floor yet. Oh, he is! Oh no. This is a locked door. This is a. Oh my god, I did the same thing last time. Bathroom. Bathroom. Bathroom! 
He's coming in. Don't look in the bathroom. Don't look at the bathroom. I don't have the don't deadlock, the but deadbolt key I'd for any of these rooms, so we're gonna. Don't look in here. He's gonna come back in a minute. He'll do like a, du a ducking, like look in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want him to look at the bathroom, but at the same time, he's very lazy. Yeah, he's very- he's probably the most unthorough searcher that I've ever seen, actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. He has no right to be so terrifying. <laughs> he's wearing a shit wig as well. Yeah. And I guess he's got a ditty issue. He's close. I'm gonna wait till I don't hear anything for a minute. Mm. Okay, we need to go back to 223 again. Please don't be here. Please don't. I don't see him. I think we've done quite a good job of avoiding him for the most part. Like, this could have been a lot worse. Oh, it definitely could have. Imagine if you lo if you were playing on hardcore and you lost everything. It'd be so annoying. Yeah. Okay, so we have to go to room two, two, three, a bunch back and forth now, unfortunately, to finish things off. But that's okay. At least we know where it is. Do you? Do you? Do you? <laughs> in you? Oh, this is the wrong way, right? Yeah, it is. It's this way. He is, by the way, he's on the floor, like, almost. Is this, this is the wrong way. Where the fuck is the right way? I don't know, love. Where's my room gone? Um. Did I go the wrong way? Maybe. For fuck's sake, I did. I went the opposite direction and he's on this floor now. This is a bonk. Well, it was nice knowing us. Well, he went where we need to go, which is shit. So we're going to hide in here for a minute. I'm an idiot. I can't believe I went the wrong way after all this. I have to come back here three times to finish things as well. Oh, no. All right. When he walks past, if he ever does. Shut up. He can't see. He just lies. He's just a liar. I mean, we know he's a liar. I mean, that is true, actually. I say I have to go back a few times. I think we only have to come back here once after this. Don't come in. I'm gonna give him a minute. He's such an arsehole when he does that, by the way. Me. Yeah. Okay, I think he's gone. This could be the end of us here. You ready? Mm hmm. Bonk. Not yet. Doesn't sound close. He's, he went the other way, I think. I think we're okay. All right. Is anyone there? Hello. Is it Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. Who did the baby's rattle belong to? No. It was for the baby. We don't have... There's something missing from this walkthrough that I'm using. A scene, potentially. Unless we're going to see it here. Fuck. Well, look in the drawers. It's nothing to do with the drawers. Do we have a compass at the moment? Uh, no, we don't. No. Might regret this. So. Oh, I guess be... we do have a compass. Unless that being grey means we don't have one. I feel like the compass is fucking useless. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the compass is meant to do. 
Wait a second. Weren't we meant to be able to do something with the scrying mirrors in the dark rooms? Yeah, so they just tell you the clues that I've been using the walkthrough to get. Oh. Oh, oh. I don't know is if this is broken or not. Give me a second, okay? Hopefully, she answers me here. Okay, we're here. We I did heard a man a thing. shouting at someone, telling them to do as he says. Who was he? You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? I thought having a child would solve everything. I was wrong. Okay, we're almost done, Bebe Numkin. We're almost done. I don't know why anyone ever thinks that. Thinks that solve, having a baby will solve their partner being abusive. It never works. <laughs> You're not wrong. Jimmy's around. We've got to be careful. Because if your partner's abusive, they're just abusive. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> a short reprieve here. We're going to the ground floor. <laughs> And then the basement. We're so close, baby! So close. So close. So, this is weird. Yes. Just let me try something, okay? This isn't, uh, this is, this isn't, uh, you don't have to cut this, this is just odd, right? I think we have to fuck around with the elevator a bit here. See? Oh my. Sounds like they had a fun family time. <laughs> really, really relaxed Nomkin family, yeah? Wow, we didn't like that, did we? No, we did not. But we did get this. The key for the only door you can't open prior. Or with a, you know, continuing the story. Basement storage. Guess where we're going? <laughs> <laughs> if we get got with this in our inventory though, I think you can lose it and you have to find it again. Alright, we'll try not to get got. I mean, I think we I think we'll be alright, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, this is the basement stairs, that's not what we want. Where is the basement storage? Ah, oh, it's probably this one here? We haven't tried this door yet. Or not? Is there another door anywhere? I'm very confused here, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um... Maybe try the lockers? Oh, there's another door here. Oh, hello. It just con it's just concealed. Okay, we have the key. Why is this not working? Look through a hole, maybe? Huh. We have the, we definitely should the, the key we just picked up in the cutscene should be this door. Are we sure? There are no other doors. We're sure. Maybe we can uh, though return to see you. Maybe. Oh, I had to click it. The only time, by the way. What the shit? That's so fucking weird. And this should be the last key item in here. Birth certificate. Yee. The 
it's not a very good place to keep your important yeah. documents, I've got to say. That's true. Back to room 223. What do you think? You think we're gonna get bunked on the way? Uh, not on the way, but maybe on the way back. We have three things left to do. Three whole things? Three whole- not four though, so it's easily manageable. I mean, manageable. yeah, if it was four, we would just never be able to finish the game ever, really. It would be unfinishable, it would be uncompletable, we'd just be like, what are we, what are we doing? Yeah. Are we numbkins? I mean, we'd be numbkins, we just wouldn't be able to beat the game because it'd be too long. Imagine, baby, if they gave you four bonks. How is he here already? Um, because he was... I went the wrong way. Uh, you might want to just commit to a room then. Fuck. I think he definitely came in after us. Sure as hell sounded like he did anyway. He was guarding the route to the actual room. Mm. So I guess he can just spawn instantly at this point. Because mm. he was like, on the way to the room. He's not in the room. But we don't know where he is. Fuck. This is going to be a pain in the ass. We have to go back up and down a few times here. Alright. I'm risking it. If we get bonked, it's not a big deal, because we already we already opened the room and got the birth certificate. Mm. Okay? So we don't have to look for the key. I don't see him. We need to go down here. All the way. Jesus. Okay. We made it to the room. Mm. Is someone there? I can hear you. Oh, we have Is to... it Rose? Fuck's sake. Yes, I'm Rose. We know who we are at this point, Rose. We've discussed this quite a lot. Mm. Why can't I click on this? That's not good. Let's try this. I saw you in a room upstairs. It looked like you found someone in the bathroom. What happened? It was Jimmy. Okay. He tried to kill himself. That's why I had to tell him the truth. Now we I can ask this. Birth certificate. It says Hugo Hall is Jimmy's real father. I mean, okay. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? I admitted it all to Jimmy. Jimmy didn't remember Hugo. He'd blocked out the memory. Hugo beat Jimmy from when he was born. We have two things left to do. Basement, then back here one final time, baby. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go. Gotta to get to the lift again. It doesn't matter if we get got, because we can just go to one, get the thing. I don't see him. I don't see him. I still don't see him. <laughs> basement, 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 basement. Sorry, lower ground floor.
A whipping set. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what I'm looking for, by the way. I'm just sort of like hoping something will trigger if I move around a bit. Hmm. Apparently we should wait. I wish some of these triggers were a bit better than they are. Yeah. Give it a minute, guys. Once it comes on, we'll cut back. They're a lovely family. Oh, we're too far away, I guess. That's a bit dumb as well, by the way. Like, we're foot, like a foot away. Yeah. Is it Rose? Yes. I saw you with a wooden bat attacking someone. Who was it? Oh, great! I let him abuse Jimmy for too long. It was my fault Jimmy turned out the way he did. I thought the guilt would go away if I told Jimmy. I was wrong. It made it worse. I couldn't accept what I'd done. I couldn't live with myself. Holy shit! What? This fucking family! <laughs> So there should be an item from fucking ages ago, from the very first case that we need to show her here for some reason. Which I think we still have, hopefully. Yeah, this. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? I don't know. They belong to Harvey. Harvey was the one who Hmm. That's a bit weird, because it, it told me to ask them about that. Hmm. When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? I had no choice. Jimmy had gone to find Hugo's grave. I was alone. I knew what I should do. All right, final bit, babe. No, I think we can work much. out what she did, though. Yeah. I will say, like, I expected a lot more of this to be Jimmy's fault mm. rather than his background, if that makes sense. Mm. All right, he's going to be on the prowl immediately. We need room 212. Could get bonked a bit here. Just a baby bit. Alright, the final run here. 212 is this way. Please don't be this way, Jimmy. I can't tell. Which way is this? This is not this way. No, 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 you fucking idiot! I think we're gonna get bonked, baby. God. It's just fine. Well, it's not a bonk. I will say that. Is it Rose? Yes. I'm Rose. I saw you. You were on fire. What happened? Is Myron in here? Yes. yes. I think that's it.
I don't really know what happens now. I do not know. Talking to the dead, Maya. I know Hugo's your father, Jimmy. I found your birth certificate, and I know Rose tried to kill him. But she failed, didn't she? Then where is he now? <laughs> Subtitles are broken. Well, why don't you come and meet him? It's time I introduce you to the family, Maya. <laughs> I don't... I'm assuming we need to go to the basement, right? I guess. To the secret room. The, uh... Yeah, I don't know what to do from here on. I'm going to assume that's right. All the ghost problems are solved, though. Well, solved. I mean... Strong. That's a strong You know word. what? <laughs> the ghost problems might be solved, but our friends are still dead. Because we didn't bother trying to save any of them. Oh, shit. And we didn't find the keys, right, either? <laughs> <laughs> this could be really bad, I just realised. This is the secret room. And the stripper music! Welcome to Hugo's grave. Mother's little secrets. She mixed the concrete herself, you know. Then poured it over his lifeless body and watched it set. She thought she got rid of him. But she didn't get it, Maya. You see, Hugo was just one of us. Just another log on the fire. He burned out. But the fire's been burning down the halls for centuries. Clearing the way. Lighting the darkness. Laying waste to the old and the poor and the weak. And it's burning in you. Too, Maya. I can tell we are destined to be together, you and I. You're the one I've been waiting for, which is why I can't let you leave. You're staying here with me, Maya, forever. Is that, is that supposed to explain why he hasn't killed us? Well. Oh, we have a key. <laughs> I guess we rescue five of our friends. I guess you get a score depending on how well you do. Mm. I think the deadlock keys are permanent though, you know? Oh. Oh, do I actually have to go and rescue them now? Maybe. The game will save here for the last time, but you have to rescue your friends. But if Jimmy catches you, it's game over. Oh. Oh, we completed the main story, it says. Well, do we know what rooms? I have no idea. Well, here, I... <laughs> yeah. Open this... your thingy, because it's saved there, so you must be able to reload it. All right, so she's already, he's already fucking here, and he's oh, we're fucked. We can't pause the game. Look at the menu at the same time. Which is bullshit, actually. Yeah. I need to look at like I need to look what our dead bolt keys are, but I can't do it while I'm hiding. We might be dead here already. God, this is annoying. Yeah, I wish this wasn't in the game. The game should have ended then, after we'd solved all the mystery. Like, this is just obnoxious. Have a cutscene of us calling the police or something, you know? Or have a cutscene of us finding the friends, because we found the keys. Yeah. And in the extreme mode, maybe do it so you have to find them yourself. Right, I can look through the keys here, maybe. I don't... I can't see... Where the deadbolt keys are, they don't seem to be in our inventory. 
but it says we have five of them. Are they all together in a thingy? No, that's just the key objective. And these could could these be? I don't think these are them. I think they're just ones we found. Well, we could just leave. One, two, three, four, five. It might be. We have five keys. All right. Do we, we have any other keys? No. No, we. We have the basement storage key, and that's it. But no other keys, like normal keys. No. It, there's a clock ticking, by the way, which is worrying me. Well, and that means if it's right, it's on this floor, it's 110 and 111, which doesn't sound right, seeing as we've definitely been in those rooms, but we'll have a look. Okay? Mm. But we could just leave and get a bad ending, which I'm inclined to do if we fail again. Okay? All right. I don't hear him, but that doesn't mean shit. I think they're all the way at the other end of this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to go back and hide again? This is obnoxious, okay? Mm -hmm. Very obnoxious. After we did all that, having this bollocks is not fun. Yeah. I think he's gonna come into the room, honey. Nah, he'd be rattling the lock if he was. I just realized this whole floor's a loop. Mm. So he's going to be able to come from both directions here pretty easily. I'll give him a minute in case he comes back. Mm. I think we're okay. It, I mean, it doesn't matter if we get got. It doesn't matter. It's just... Oh, he's moving quickly. Yep. You're going to get bonked. He's behind me. I'm gonna hide in the room here. We're so close to the right rooms, but I think we're a bit far away, you know? Mm hmm Like, I, I think it's back the way we came. He's gonna be super aggressive here, isn't he? Oh, yeah. We went too far for 110. It's like back to the right and down the side bit. Mm hmm Like I say, if I get got, I'm gonna reload and just leave. Mm. One ten and one eleven, right? Mm -hmm. Find out. This might you might be right. It is one of our friends. Okay. The other one's right opposite. Yeah. I can't remember. It says send friend out. Why would I do that? He teleported here. Yeah, he definitely did. This is a dead end, so he can't really come back. Give him another minute. Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. I had to do that, by the way. It wouldn't let me choose the door. Mm -hmm. Wait for them to get away. You have four more friends to rescue. I don't understand this shit. I think it was just a loading screen. 
Well, the other one's in here, right? Yes. Getting off this floor, I don't know how we're going to do it. Because he's going to be bullshit. Oh my god, that's such a bad wig. Not as bad as Jimmy's. Look through the spyglass. I'll give him a minute, because he teleported here last time, 100%. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it's quite a long way away. Alright, we're going to do it. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. If they die, who cares, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know them. Yeah, I think this is just the loading screen. No, nope, he's dead. Uh, I guess we should have waited longer. Well. Well, one friendo's dead. Oh well. Where the fuck is he? All right, where's that? Wait, let's, let's look now. Where's our next one? Oh, there's another one on this floor. One, two, one. And the other two. There's no one. None on two. They're on three and one. Mm. Okay, so one, two, one. Wherever the fuck that is. Quite a long way from here. They're the opposite side, right? This is going to be so bullshit. Yeah. It's kind of frustrating. We've already fucked up. Yeah. Try and keep an eye out for him. I know it's really difficult to tell. The thing is, honey, you move too fast for me to be able to tell. I don't hear him at the moment. There's but 120. We're close. Where's 121? We must have passed it. It just stops here. What the fuck? Turn around. This is 115. He's here, by the way. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Okay. We're leaving. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving the fucking hotel. I guess we get a bad ending sequence here. Yeah. They probably made it, right? Yeah, I didn't hear any screaming. Okay. The time is really going, I'm having to move, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Right, he's not there. I wish he didn't have to unlock the door. Like, we have the fucking keys. Yeah. I hate that mechanic in any game, though, to be fair. Yeah, same there. Alright, she's okay. Go with the crack wig. And we wait again. Then we have to get out. Mm -hmm. I know the way, but if he's, we need to really pay attention to if he's there, right? Mm. Okay, we definitely aren't moving at the moment. I think he automatically comes to the room every time you find a friend. Yeah, I'm going to give him 10 seconds to get away again. Because mm -hmm. that seemed to work. Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. I mean, that was only five seconds, baby. It would have been four, though. I mean, if it was four, they, they wouldn't have gotten out. That's the last person released, now find the exit. I know where it is, but I'm shit scared. I wish this earned a checkpoint. I'm gonna risk it, okay? You ready? Okay. Oh god. Keep an eye peeled, okay? I'm gonna do my best, but I'm not gonna promise anything taking it slow I 
I don't see him. Oh, Lily, please. I know where the door is, I think. We're d d mm. <laughs> I think I know where the door is. It's a ground floor or first floor? Ground floor. No, stop fucking around! <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god, game! Fuck! I'm clicking everywhere like a panic. It's not this door, I think it's this one. Please? Yes! Oh my yes! god! <sighs> All your friends got out safely and you completed Dead of Night. Oh Jesus! Even the ones that were screaming, yeah, bloody they just, murder! They ran away from them, that's why, you see. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Also, that was bullshit game because you told me earlier... Oh. Not you. I'm in charge. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I wonder if there's a true ending on Extreme. Mm. In each of us is another whom we do not know. Eh. Not so sure about that, actually. <laughs> he speaks to us in dreams. And tells us how differently he sees us from the way we see ourselves. Carl Jung. I know he's a philosopher, but I think he might be wrong. Oh, what the fuck is this? You can see them. At dead of night. That's it. Okay, that was it. Um, sorry that we're not actually going to be showing. Well, we might show bits and pieces, but honestly, guys, it was 20 odd minutes of waiting, of waiting and trying to do it and then occasionally getting blonked and needed to restart. So it, you didn't miss anything. With us not including the final chase, really. We'll probably because, the final because, bit. Well, obviously the final bit. But, you know, uh, it wasn't even the tenseness that we had gotten throughout the rest of the game. Because y you do have the part of it. It was more just, you know, frustrating and annoying. Yeah. Which is a shame. Because up until that point, I thought it was really good. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of roguelike elements. And this game didn't really have them because the keys weren't that important. Mm -hmm. Until you... um. You know, uh, they, they weren't that important, so death didn't really have much of a consequence. I mean, other than it, it did, but it wasn't like, okay, you lose, like... Everything. Everything. Uh, and I know it has an extreme difficulty where that's the case. That's fine, but this is the standard, so 
it would have been really nice if in the standard version um you didn't have the permadeath or at the very least if you had gotten all the keys then you it just it, you just rescue your friends automatically or a save every time you rescued a friend oh yeah that would that work. Been fine. that, that would, would have been, been that would have been perfectly acceptable as well a save actually that's probably a better thing because I think you have to release all your well I know actually I know you have to release all your friends because we did try Unless. after the second time we failed to leave and we're like okay well we're getting a bad ending but the key said that it was for the wrong door which was a fucking lie it's <laughs> just you can't do that yeah so you have to rescue your friends yeah um so it would have been better to have in the standard mode a checkpoint per person you rescue it was very tense but it was not my kind of tense just to it wasn't the fun tense we've been having the entire game it was a yeah. frustrating tense that said overall i thought this was pretty good I um, liked it until this point. Yeah. I give it, like... I don't know what I give it out of 10. Like, it's pretty decent. Like, the acting's good. The stories for the ghosts were good. I really enjoyed that bit of the game. Mm -hmm. Ending, not my cup of tea, because I really am not a fan of having to redo large chunks of gameplay. It's a big turn-off for me. But we did do it. It was yeah, doable. Yeah. The only criticism I have of the story is where they put in, like, a whole, like, oh, that was just one one of us, one of our demon stuff, and I'm just like, you know, it could have just been a guy, like a magician guy. It doesn't have to be this whole, like, big thing, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not the worst, and I did enjoy it, the majority of it, so, you know, yeah. I enjoyed, like, 80% of the story, 85% even. But not full. No, not full. That'd be the whole game, and then some. Yeah. But yeah, I liked it overall. That was our Dead of Night. Thank you very much for our patrons for voting on this. Mm. If you guys want to get involved and vote too, then oh my god, you should head to our Patreon right now. Pledge, nominate games. We give you unprecedented control over this channel and let you vote and nominate on our playthroughs. Um, this isn't normally something we would have done, but it won, so we had to do it. Oh my god. What should they watch next? They should watch everything. Everything that we've ever yeah, done. Yeah, but if you had to pick an actual game... Then you should watch my recent playthrough of Carpathian Night. It is a Metroidvania type thing, and it stars famous dead actor Bella Lugosi, who is, they somehow got permission from his estate to use him. He's literally in the game as Dracula. Oh, wow. The role that he played for Universal uh, oh, in the wow. Monster movies. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty spooks. Very difficult, too, but I did beat it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to watch us live, go over to our Twitch. Link in the description below. Tell us what you thought of the game. Leave a like on the video and all that stuff. And we will see you next time. Oh my god, I'm president. Bye! Bye!